having spoken about India, I am the foreign minister, so it would be remiss of me not to speak a little bit about the world. I do believe something happened yesterday. Uh, so, uh, Just a small thing. Uh, yes. There was already a reordering of supply chains, uh, which was taking place. It is very likely that in view of the election results yesterday in the US, that this would accelerate. Having spoken about India, I am the foreign minister, so it would be remiss of me not to speak a little bit about the world. Uh, and uh, as you say, I do believe something happened yesterday. Uh, so, uh, Just a small thing. Uh, yes. So uh, I think there are uh, probably, to my mind, four or five important consequences uh, for the relationship and for the business aspect of the relationship. One. Uh, there was already a reordering of supply chains uh, which was taking place. Uh, it is very likely that in view of the election results yesterday in the US that this would accelerate. Uh, I'd be very candid with you. I mean, some of it would certainly be somewhat disruptive, but we in India perceive it as an opportunity because having kind of missed the manufacturing bus in the 1990s, early 2000s. Uh, we do think that uh, this reordering of supply chain gives us a sort of second bite of the apple, and maybe this time around, uh, starting with apple, we are doing better than we were doing earlier. Uh, the second, uh, there will be, in a way, more geopolitical hedging, uh, that uh, uh, what will inevitably happen as a consequence of policies which we can, at least those parts of it we can safely predict, will be many more of us would be seeking more relationships to keep, uh, you know, life uh, stable. The third pertains to the digital, uh, digital side, and the digital side now pretty much covers everything. Uh, and what has happened, what has been happening and will continue to intensify is uh, issues about, uh, about, in a way, of trust and, uh, you know, uh, what accompanies the digital aspect of a product or a service or a technology, I think, will come under greater uh, scrutiny. And uh, it will... Mm, reflect itself in different fields. I mean, you've seen that already in semiconductors, where there's a very conscious attempt at diversification of production. Uh, in, uh, and uh, the, the drive towards AI will further accelerate this. Uh, so so uh, digital payment platforms, for example, would become, uh, in a sense, more valuable, but also uh, you know, which platform to use with whom becomes an uh, uh, important question. Uh, a fourth one to my mind is mobility. Mobility of talent and skills, because uh, even as there is a, there is a, a re-globalization or reworking of the current, uh, current architecture, uh, the, apart from the technology changes, I think the demographic unevenness of the world is beginning to bite us. Mm -hmm. That there would be uh, economies where the demand would be high, uh, the talents may not be plentiful, uh, it could be different in other places. Uh, and what will happen, in a sense, is already happening. And I can, uh, you know, give you some very interesting numbers here, uh, is we will be moving, my guess is, perhaps in the next few years, to a much more integrated global workplace. That many countries, this, and, and it'll be, in, to my mind, even a United States under Donald Trump, will make a distinction in, in immigration and mobility. That for them, uh, economic, economically justified mobility will have to be fostered by those where the economic value is less or negative will have to be uh, managed. So this is going to be, I mean, 
In fact, I, I tell my colleagues in foreign policy, I actually think for us, at least in India, it's going to be one of the top three priorities. That how do you, uh, how do you create and manage uh, and optimize a global uh, workplace? And finally, uh, we do think uh, that again, politics notwithstanding, the world will be greener. That, uh, that uh, while the pace of the greening of the economy may vary. Uh, definitely, uh, if one looks today, I mean, we are certainly taking a big bet on green hydrogen, on green ammonia. We do, we are thinking of green shipping corridors. Uh, we, you know, electric mobility is already upon us. Uh, we are looking at biodiesel. Uh, in fact, that's something we are pushing very strongly uh, at sustainable aviation fuel. So that whole world is green steel. I mean, these are these are going to come. Politics or no politics, it may come faster. It may come in some countries more than other countries, but it will actually not stop as a global trend.